Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of 30 Inks, 30 Days. And happy Thanksgiving to all of those who are celebrating Thanksgiving this really nice day. Um, what are you guys thankful for? Let me know in the comment section below. On with the show. All right, today we're looking at a green ink from Birmingham Pen Company, Birmingham Pen Company Agave. Thanks go out to Gary and Kathy Scott for providing the sample for this review. Here is our comparison panel. Not too much shading. Kind of a greeny, tealy ink. And here is our ink swatch and water resistance test shows that there is a little bit of water resistance. However, I don't know if I would want to put it on the outside of an envelope for fear the color may wash away. But the gray may stay behind. I don't know. I'm, this one's kind of a, an iffy. I'm, I might put this on the outside of an envelope. All right. There, here's our toilet paper chromatography. I see like a blackness going on here. Or like a dark tan. I don't know. And then there's like a black hint. And then there's dark blue. And then teal. And then right along the edge, there's gray. I don't know what's going on with this gray. This has happened twice in a row with two of the Birmingham inks. The um, cherry blossom and this agave. It's a very interesting looking ink. Anyway, let's take a look at some paper reviews, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Super uh, lightweight traveler's notebook paper, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Super lightweight traveler's notebook paper, no feathering, normal ghosting. 70 GSM. Moleskin, barely any feathering, and a little bit of ghosting. This is a Yush 100 GSM paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. 52 GSM, Tumaway River. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. The Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Marmont Nemosony, 80 GSM dot grid. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Oxford Optic Paper, 90 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, barely any ghosting. If you put it in a fine pen, you'll have the least amount of chance for bleed through. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Lummy Booklet, 90 GSM, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper from Walmart.com, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Unison Composition Book from Target.com. No feathering. Barely any ghosting. A little bit of ghosting. Up and Up Composition Book from Target.com. No feathering. No bleeding. No ghosting. True Red Composition Book from Staples.com. No feathering. A little tiny bit of ghosting. Ronia Dot Pad, 80 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. The Nanami 7Cs, 68 GSM, Tomoe River. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. CVS Caliber Notebook Paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford Notebook Paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Made wide roll notebook paper. 
does look like it's trying to spread into the page and it did go through heavily. I would not use fountain pen ink on that paper. Five star notebook paper. It does look like it's trying to spread into the page, but no bleeding, no ghosting. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. Super fast drying. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Acabe cross section pad. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. JNB copper plate graph pad from johnnealbooks.com. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oop. Teeny tiny bit of ghosting. Original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. No feathering. And barely any ghosting. Okay, let's do a comparison panel. All I know is I feel exhausted. And I haven't even, I didn't even do any cooking today. And I'm not going to do any cooking today. After I do this review, I'm going to go back to bed till like 3 o'clock when I'm going to get up and go out to eat. So. Let's take a look at Birmingham Pen Company Agave. Uh, all right, this is a green tealish ink. So, Twisby Emerald Green, Seats Crow's Neck Palm Green, Birmingham Pen Company Cooked Spinach, Colorverse Arabella, Malta Verde Emerald Green. Ackerman Bazood and Wood Growing, Sherwood Green, California Teal. These are getting kind of close. Lamy Tourmaline. Oh, now I'm moving away. Brilliant Green, Basil Pesto, Pushkin. These are eh. Elf, no. Starry Skies Green, no. Color for Spirit, Stupula Bright Green, See like 50 States, Vermont. Monteverde Yosemite, La Bonhera. These are kind of similar. Diamond Hells, Diamond Delamere Green. And now we're just getting into things that don't even look like this. So. I'm going to skip a few. Robert Oster Velvet Storm. Diamond Seasons Greetings. Ferris Wheel Press Peppermint Drop. Mm. Tasha Hokusai Sai Bimidori. Vinta Inks Mermaid Green. Okay, these are all of the ones that I can think of that are in the green department. I do want to look at some teal inks because they may brighten the horizon. There's Pelican Edelstein Apatite, Pelliverse Gravity Wave. Lamy Tourmaline, Lamy, I'm sorry, Diamond Black Ivy, Diamond Garland, Robert Oster Sydney Darling Harbor, Jabot uh, Emerald de Savoir, Pembibius 385, Diamond Teal, this is definitely in the teal family, Colorverse Ho M Map of Mars, Troublemaker Nautical Highway, Diamine Aurora Borealis, Organic Studio Alanine, Diamine Yuletide, Lamy Crystal Amazonite, Diamine Tropical Glow, Diamine Soft Mint, Ferris Wheel Press, Bluegrass Velvet, Private Reserve Blue Suede, Robert Oster Pacific Ocean Teal, Jabon Kalank, Diamine Eau de Nil, Sailor Manyo Yomagi, Diamond Christine, Co uh, Papier Plume Coraline in my mind, Birmingham Blizzard Twinkle, Private Reserve Turquoise Silver, 
<clears throat> Troublemaker Inks, Copper Patina, Malt Severity Iced Cookie, and Sailor, 50 States, California. Happy Thanksgiving, Kathy. How are you doing today? I'm exhausted. I'm going back to bed. Well, what did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a greenishy teal ink? Oh, well, I, I'm mainly just taking antibiotics for my leg injury to make sure that it's not causing any edema or anything. So I'll be all right. It just makes me sleepy. <laughs> Yeah, I like the I like this ink too. I wish I hadn't put it in this pen, but oh well, shoulda, couldas, and wouldas. It writes nice, but I think it it does need to be primed every now and then, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, that is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell, make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you and I will be back very soon with another video. So, take care until then. Okay, love you, bye. Have a great day. Have a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>